These days, every business is realizing how important a business management system is. Whether it is rental management, sales management, service management, or even financial management. Not only can RMI provide you with all these management tools in one integrated database, but we also offer a complete contact resource management, or CRM package. Let me start by going through some examples of how RMI, RMI CRM can help you be more efficient and profitable. Let's start by taking a look at the contact card. Contact card is going to be your central hub for all companies and people. Taking a look at the list view, you could actually see that Katie Wagman is associated with our current company, Gillian and Sons. As you can see, all the necessary information for that on the contact card, like your name, address, telephone number, as well as a salesperson code that's associated with this current contact. The salesperson code is going to be the salesperson that's assigned to this company during the entire sales process. As you can see here on the communication tab, uh, there's additional information like uh, your standard phone number, mobile phone, fax number, as well as a possible email or a homepage. The most important part about the contact card is going to be down here in your profile. This is going to be additional information that you've collected about this company, um, saying the 5 to 10 million uh, revenue that they bring in, um, how they actually came to us, whether it was telemarketing or some kind of cold calling, uh, how many locations they have here is 2 to 5, number of employees, uh, this range is about 250 to 500 employees, um, and really what this is designed to do is uh, be able to segment who is going to be a good candidate for a uh, certain, say, rental crane or uh, anything specific that you want to search in the system, uh, whether this company is going to be uh, a good fit as a customer or not. Now let's talk about marketing campaigns. A marketing campaign is going to be the way that you're going to keep track of all your marketing efforts. Uh, the example that I'm going to use today, um, I'm walking through my rental yard and I see that I have a lot of these uh, additional scissor lists. I'll show you more examples later on. Uh, but I want to see who are the customers that have rented from me in the past and I want to send them some kind of promotional piece to get them to rent again um, before the end of the year. Uh, maybe I can bring in some additional revenue, you know, possibly uh, keep some older customers, um, you know, happy, uh, be able to give them some kind of discount. And also, if you have any kind of competition that starts coming in the area, uh, you want to be able to keep track of all your old customers to make sure that the new guys don't come in and steal them from you. Now this is your standard campaign card. Uh, your description is going to be the direct mail promotion, uh, your status codes here, whether it was planned, approved, initiated, scheduled, started, or done. You have your starting date, your ending date, as well as you see the salesperson code comes in again here. Uh, this could be a sales manager that has a interdepartmental uh, campaign that he wants to go out to all the sales guys to help promote sales toward the end of a quarter. This could be a marketing manager that has a new idea for a campaign uh, and then the sales manager can come in and approve it uh, right here on the same general uh, campaign card here. Now that I've created this campaign, what I want to do is bring together a list of customers that have rented this unit from us in the past. Now you can go through the system and pick each one if you know by memory, uh, but a better way to do it is run a segment. Now a segment in RMI's Advantage system is a way to bring together lists of customers, contacts, vendors, uh, any lists of uh, people that you want to uh, be able to keep track of. This is really helpful for sales guys that um, want to say run all their contacts in their current territory. So what I'm going to do here is actually run this segment by adding some contacts. Like I said, that electric scissor lift, I'm going to pull in the product here. And I'm going to run this. As you can see here, these are the lists of all the customers that have rented from us in the past. You can see the first contact that came up here, Gillian and Sons and Katie Wagman. But let's take a look at what exactly we're going to be sending to them. Uh, this is a uh, marketing direct mailer template that I have in the system here. 
Let's bring it up and show you what it looks like. As you can see, your company logo as well as your information up here in the corner. Uh, this is going to be a Microsoft Word mail merge that the system is going to automatically do for you uh, when you actually log this segment. And I'll show you that in just a second. But you have all the uh, contacts, company name, address, information, uh, any kind of formal, formal salutation, as well as the body of this mail piece that's going to be going out and then the final um, signature down here in the bottom. Now, like I said, what I want to do here is actually log this. This will take just a second. Segment has been logged. I press OK. Now let's take a look at what it looks like. As you can see here, it brought in all of Katie's information from Gillian and Sons. Did the formula salut salutation here in the letter and finished everything off for us. Now when you log this segment and save it, as I just show you, um, it is going to bring in a mass mail merge of all the documents that you want to have it print to. Uh, you send it to uh, your printer, you print it out, mail it out, and then uh, everything is done without having to go into Microsoft Word and change anything. Now let's continue with this example. I'm going to close out of this segment close out of the campaign for now. I want to go back to the Gillian and Sons contact card and Katie Wagman. To continue the example, uh, I'm going to say that Katie Wagman has received the marketing uh, mailer that I sent to her and she actually wants to rent one of these scissor lifts for us from us, which is great. Uh, so what I want to do now is uh, do one extra step and create an interaction. Uh, by creating an interaction here, what I want to do is uh, tell the system that I want to log that Katie has called us, uh, whether it was a good or a bad call, um, and then what campaign is it going to be linked to. So I'm going to go down here and say this was a callback. Uh, Katie called about promotion. This was inbound from her. Let's evaluate it, say it was very positive. And what campaign is this linked to? I'm gonna go down to the direct mail promo that we've been working on here. And now what I've done here is actually created an interaction in the system saying that Katie has uh, contacted us. It's going to show on the campaign card, I will show you that in a minute, in the statistics saying that uh, this has been a response. So now what you've done is you've sent out a marketing piece and actually been able to get some kind of response knowing that this marketing piece has actually worked. Now let's see what this actually looks like. I'm going to jump into the campaign here. And while I'm doing this, ask yourself a question. Ask yourself, how many times do I send out some kind of marketing piece, saying a mailer or an email or just even a cold call? And, uh, you know, that, that's man hours, that's time, that's charged. Um, you want to see, well, do I get any response from this? So a lot of people are not going to call you back and say, oh, well, I've received this direct mailer from you. Uh, this is direct mailer, you know, number 78. Um, you know, where's my discount? So by creating that interaction, I want to show you the statistics here. Um, as you can see, how many contacts have actually been contacted and then responded, we'd have five. So response rate is already 50% based on uh, previous interactions that I've done in the system. So that's a good way to really prove um, not only that your marketing efforts are working, um, but also prove that maybe some marketing efforts that really aren't working. You know, if it, it's going to be really expensive for the company, especially in the economy like this, to um, spend a lot of money on marketing and it's not really working, then why continue to spend all that money? So uh, in the system right here, these campaigns are very important as well as the interactions are very important to uh, keep track of are you making any money on this marketing campaign or not. Now I'm going to take this example to the next step. I'm going to go back to uh, Gillian and Sons contact card and the whole purpose of Katie's call was she wants a quote for uh, what her, what her uh, rental is going to be. So right from the contact card uh, we can go right into a rental quote here. 
And I've previously filled in uh, the information for this scissor lift down here on the bottom. Uh, you can send this. I'll show you what this looks like here. Preview it on the screen. All the information in here, uh, all your pricing, your discounts can be added as well. Signature on the bottom. And then from here, you could actually send this via email. Uh, later on in this demonstration, I am going to talk about, uh, like I said, some uh, Microsoft Outlook integration. Um, so this system can seamless be, seamlessly be integrated with Microsoft Outlook. So this can be sent uh, with your synced up contacts. So Katie at Gillian and Sons. And once she approves this uh, via email, that could be sent back to the system. Uh, and then from there, once it's signed and approved, you can just click make order here and then it'll automatically convert it into an order. All right, so what I wanna do next is I wanna talk about the Outlook integration and how that works for the sales guy. I'm gonna continue with this example uh, and Greg Hall sales guy needs to have some kind of to do to show that um, we want to call Katie about the quote that we sent her on the scissor lift. So what I wanna do again, right from the contact card here is I want to create a to-do. Right here, I want to have a phone call. As you can see in this list, uh, we also have the option for a meeting. Uh, a little side note about this meeting is you can set up a meeting with anybody that's in your company, outside your company, customers, vendors, um, anybody who's synced up in your contacts list with Microsoft Outlook for anybody uh, in the audience who has Microsoft Outlook currently. Um, you have your contact list with all your addresses and phone numbers, email addresses, um, as well as some tasks in your calendar. But the meeting, uh, you have the ability to create the meeting right from the system here, rather than going separately into Microsoft Outlook and going through the whole calendar setup for a new meeting, adding people uh, via the contacts, et cetera, uh, which is very, very helpful um, in making your everyday process a little bit more streamlined. But for sake of demonstration today, I'm just gonna do a phone call. I wanna call Katie about final approved quote. do it for 12.09 today. You can see which is a contact, Gillian and Sons. You could also have the to-do be directly for Katie if you have separate information on her uh, person card, um, who's a salesperson responsible. It's Greg Hall, sales guy. You can link this to, do, to a to-do, I'm sorry, to a campaign if you'd like. Um, and then what is the priority of this? This is high priority. We really want to get the ball rolling. We want to bring in some sales here, some rental revenue. So I want to get this uh, going really quickly and uh, call Katie about this. And also you can make this recurring. You can um, have this be, you know, once a week you call Katie about the quote if she's stalling or uh, any, any way that you want to recur this. It could be, you know, daily, monthly, weekly, as much as you want to do this. This is really helpful for a sales guy who has a, uh, you know, a really long sales process or has a lot of repeat calls that he needs to do daily or weekly. So I'm going to finish this up. As you can see, the to-do that comes up here in uh, my current to-do list for Gillian and Sons. I'm going to close this here. Now that this has been created, there's a couple of different places that you can uh, see the list of to-dos. Uh, for instance, the sales managers can go uh, into the to-do list uh, here you can see we have Gregory Hall sales guy and Kevin Nolan sales guy. Uh, this can be set up for day, per week, per month, per quarter, per year. Um, and this is going to be the full list of to-dos. You can drill in here. You can see I have two to-dos for Gillian and Sons, um, as well as if Kevin Nolan had any to-dos, uh, you can see that he seems to be off the rest of the week. Um, but you can, the sales manager can have a really quick list of what's going on um, within this current week or this current day to keep track of uh, who's doing what when. Um, so that's one way to take a look at it. Another way for the salesman directly is uh, let's open up Microsoft Outlook here. And as you can see when we open this up, that uh, 
call Katie about final approved quote came up in the uh, in the to do's. You have your current tasks um, for normal Microsoft Outlook uh, for anything um, you know personal or anything interdepartmental that's not um, done in the system, uh, as well as your current calendar um, for any meetings that you might have. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, we have some old. Um, to do's that I've already taken care of today, but I still need to call Katie about the final approved quote. Um, but you have a, diff a lot of different ways of looking at this, either the simple list, the detailed list, um, active tasks in the next seven days, um, all the way down. So this is really a good way to keep track of uh, what you have currently uh, linked up into your um, RMI Advantage database to see what do I need to do uh, without going through the entire database and going through all the contacts. You get a quick view right here. Okay, the last final thing I want to show you is uh, one of RMI's new new ways of working with CRM. I've showed you a little bit in Microsoft Outlook how you can see your to-dos, your uh, calendar view, your meetings, uh, any kind of tasks, as well as the way to uh, go through your entire list through RMI's Advantage database, but we have a new way that you can bring both of these together. Um, in Advantage 2009, uh, we have something called the Role Tailor Client. The Royal Taylor client is great for sales guys. It's a much more graphical than um, what we have used in the past. You have your Microsoft Outlook up here in the left-hand corner with your uh, calendar, your inbox. Uh, you could also add your tasks here if you had any going on or to-dos. You have your list of to-dos down here as well. Uh, but I want to go back to uh, your current role center. Um, you also have uh, these charts. This chart right here uh, is one very quick example that I've done for this demo to show uh, what is the count of contacts per sales guy. So this would be a uh, good way for a sales manager to take a look at who has what um, for a number of contacts. Now these charts are great because uh, you yourself or RMI can customize these charts and you know make them pie charts or bar charts or however you want to do this you can you know even ex uh, export all this information into Excel uh, but this is a really graphical way to see uh, what we have to offer between the integration and the two systems uh, you know as you know in the past Microsoft um, Microsoft um, Office Suite like PowerPoint Excel Word all have, as well as Outlook, do have the ability to integrate back to uh, RMI's Advantage product, but this is, like I said, a really, really good way of bringing the two together, uh, much more graphically, uh, easy to use, uh, et cetera. And I hope you got a lot out of this um, current demo and presentation um, and get a better idea of how CRM can really improve your day-to-day uh, -day business, bring in some more revenue and possibly help out some sales guys into closing some deals.